Yeah, okay, we're online. I'll probably do a somewhat longer stream today. As you can see, while I was, I was off stream, I already went over to difficulty 15. The other ones are mostly similar, so might as well go to the hardest one. First, we'll do a normal fif run 15 to try to get to the end. Then we'll do ending 2, and then we'll work on ending 3. Ending 3 is by far the hardest, and I actually haven't done it yet on EN anyway, but we'll work towards that today. For the shop, I've cleared about halfway through, I haven't gotten the item yet. And while I was grinding, I unlocked almost every item, with only a couple of exceptions. I don't have the King's item, I don't have the stupid healing stuff, because who the hell wants that, it's a trash item. Some random book, and I don't have Kinat's item. Oh, and there's this crown that you unlock if you have more than 30 life points. I slipped up on when I was trying to unlock it and accidentally leaked 25 enemies in the last fight. Oops. Recap over. Let's start the run. Hello, Maya. Now, I've beaten IS-4 with every squad, but for now I'm going to stick to just Spearhead. There should be other things that are viable, but I haven't found anything as consistent yet. I'll keep experimenting, but this is what works best for me on the highest difficulty. 16 ingots isn't worth, 3 shield is nice, I'll take the hope. I'm confident I won't leak on the early stages, so I don't need extra lives. Now this is what I start with every time. Pinecone. Yeah, I really wouldn't recommend Spearhead unless you're playing with 4 stars, but 4 stars need the stats. For higher rarity, uh, extra hope is much more useful, but four, st four stars need the buff more, because hope stops being an issue much quicker. This is the most consistent squad that can clear every floor on the first floor, if, regardless of what they get in the recruits, that's why I play this. If I pick another squad, like Ethan Pank on Fang, is also workable. I'm kind of dependent on recruits. In this one I have physical, arts damage, healing, blocking. Much more well-rounded. You can play other stuff of course, but this is what gives me the most consistent runs. For now I'll grind it out. After we start winning I must, might switch to other stuff. Not the best first floor. We don't want encounters. Fights are higher value than encounters. And we can only get uh, two fights on this floor. Obviously, we're taking the higher path, because oh, the bottom is even worse. The of this mission, then. Don't remember what stage Ghosts of the Resort was. Oh, it's the thing with the Sarkas. This trick can beat the emergency version too. You because you can... They can kill the sword first, without aggroing the... Caster. Not that we have a caster here, but you get what I mean. Chest. The other squad that is kind of workable yeah, yeah, is yeah. going with something like May Pudding and Spot again. But that dies out to Emergency Prison unless I get a good Forfer cult. So this is outright better. And I don't really want May that much in my squad anyway. So I have no reason to do it. I haven't tried Pinecone Pudding yet, because I'm kind of afraid of the DP cost being way too high to do anything. I might give it a try later. No Ducker Bear. Difficulty 15 on its own isn't that bad, it only gets really difficult when you go for ending 3 and that starts upgrading all of the fights. So until then we'll be fine. Yeah, I did uh, between 12 and 15 in off-stream. They're mostly the same, 15 is the in real interesting one. 
so uh, this is kind of interesting. Ethan is better than Jaya if I get him to E2, but at E1 Jaya is better. So getting Ethan is more like a greedier late game investment. By late game I mean the second floor. The sooner I get a specialist the better. But because of his AoE and constant bind and not eating all my DP, he works better. I prefer taking Ethan if I can get away with it. And with only one fight we should be fine. Hello. This is never worth taking if you want to avoid the debuff. Because you get one from here and three from the floor. Might as well take the item. The debuffs aren't that bad anyway, so I don't mind stacking them. The only dangerous one is... They wanna get the encounters. They're probably gonna be something low value anyway. If I get the dog, I can't kill it with this, and the dog is the only good encounter. Uh, we're gonna skip the encounters then. A King Relic is kind of a trash drop. Because I'm only gonna get value out of it if I'm in a horrible situation already. Uh, Mimic. Very little health. This is queuable. Mm, let's see how I wanna play it. We can point like this, I guess. Or we can avoid having active pine cone shooting at the mimic if we play something like this. Yeah, I think pause because I'm losing the time. So basically, I want to deploy all my shit before I wake up the mimic. But there's an archer here that guards the range tiles. Simplest option is click down here and then spot here as well. Click can shoot the mimic from there, and we have enough DP. All right then. Wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> Okay, that was exactly as planned. Absolutely. I'm pretty confident that Spot can outheal the Mimic thing. Okay, let's go. Heal it as quickly as possible. That was going for the Mimic too was probably kind of greedy. Hopefully I don't die to the double axes. Ah, leaking one axe is fine. That's worth it. Ten ingots for one life is fine with me. Maybe there was a way to go for it later. Uh, but I need to deploy pa Pinecone and Accord, eh? I'm Kind of awkward with Ethan here. An example of where Jaya E1 would have been better. Since he can just beat the shit out of the Mimic. Uh, but it's not a big deal. I'm willing to trade life, one life for a Mimic. I'm just questioning if it was necessary to trade at all. Yeah, this is the power of the Spearhead. I can do stupid shit with it and survive. Hooray for 15% extra health. Or maybe I'm trying to get value out of the relic. Okay, so if you get a debuff and then you cleanse it, you can get rid of that debuff entirely. So we're gonna go down and next time we get a debuff, we might get some other debuff. This is by far the worst debuff, so we're gonna cleanse it and hope we get something else. Well, hope we can cleanse it. Uh, this is better for my needs. Let's see what we get on the encounter. Yeah, that doesn't cleanse the debuff, I think. Oh no, it does. Perfect. Okay, so now I don't have it. And I have a chance to get a different debuff. If you have a really bad debuff, you want to cleanse it. But if you get something irrelevant, you can just leave it in there. E1 medic isn't worth. Holy shit, what an awful shop. <laughs> pretty fresh. There was nothing in there. E to click. Five lives. We'll take the squad limit for later. Still an awful shop. I don't really want to buy the five objective shield. This is pretty good for Hummus if we get him later. Ah, there's nothing better. We'll just buy this and get rid of the rest of my money. 
Yay, I gave Kenat one ingot. He's so rich. If I can afford to have Gitano, I will. She's never going to be my first caster pick. I am trying to win after all. Uh, this is the least relevant one to me. You just have random Dubinion spawn all over. This one's easier. Yeah, they're both fine. Any rune we want to use? I could do this to max out on lives. Yeah, I don't really have any reason to save this for later. I'll just get rid of it now. To make sure I don't die from not paying attention. Leave it to me. Well, I wouldn't say the investment system is consistent. Sometimes it lets me put two ingot instead of one ingot. You know, there's variation there. And sometimes he lets you put 165 ingots because he's an asshole. Kill the ghost. On standby. I didn't even wait for the DP. Well, no, it doesn't matter. Click is here, so Spot can heal her. I think Pinecon won't die from just one of these guys, and I can always put Funk here to tank shots for for Pinecon, so she doesn't need healing. Okay, yeah, that that's actually sensical. We'll do it like this. Fang is pointing here, so she won't trigger the Shadow early. The Shadow will probably get triggered here, but we can just bind the real body with Ethan and click stuns. Oops, click button. Clean these guys up, so we can focus on um, the shadow do this as quick as possible. Yeah, it unbinds. That was kind of close. It's probably a bit... I might have been better off using Fang to proc the shadow, even if Pinecoin died. It's not like I need her alive if there is no shadow. Okay, so in the future I'll always prioritize the shadow. Yay, we have E2 Eaton. Ethan going from E1 to E0 is what other characters going from E0 to E2 is like. He gets such a gigantic buff. I can't take both, and I'd rather not use my last one. Actually, I would because... I lose it on the next floor anyway, because of one of the debuffs, so we'll use it now. Uh, this stage is a free win, basically. He's not off, it isn't awful even at T1, because you need a lot of AoE damage, and everything has low defense. Check your gear but he is definitely way, way Time better at T2. Wait, I'm being stupid, why did they place Punk here? Trust. Okay, what set do we want for this? Because now we can't use click. To help on that side. Ready for action. All right then. I was supposed to have spot there right away. Then we can have Ethan and Fang here or something. No, it doesn't matter. Go down, please. Ethan can keep the guard bound. And not interfering with spot too much. And these guys can be stunned. I'll probably leak some guards. 
Because I was forced to use click here. Which is less than ideal. What? Why didn't he start flying? The hell was that? We have a Decor bear, bear coming. Bear is waiting until we get rid of this guy. Oh damn, Ethan missed two row two times in a row. That happens rarely. Two options. Either I go for the duck or I go for the chest. I can definitely get the chest, but I can't do both. Yeah, Ethan's in a trolley mode today. It happens. Obviously I don't want the walk out. The duck is gonna run right through. I probably should have gone for the chest, but I'm very greedy. Let's see if we get good binds. Ah, uh, don't worry, we, we won't. I say that and he binds in the first hit. Of course. The jet guys fly when they get the movement speed buff. So they should get the movement speed buff when they pass through that thing. But they did that last one didn't for some reason. I actually remember that happening on CN2, where if you place an operator there and attack them, they don't start flying. I have no idea how that works. Maybe it's something to do with the direction they're facing when they attack. I have no idea. This item is super broken, by the way. Kind of trash and pinecone, but super broken otherwise. Uh, caster or specialist, right? Yeah, I don't really want a second caster for now. Click is plenty. Jaya is better. More money, obviously. Have two money runes, we'll find something to combine them later. Best path is going to be... Go to the scout node. And then up. If I take anything else I can take two fights, but this is a guaranteed D2. And I think you get the device from the sky scout node after you lose one from going to floor 3. So I think I should start with one device. E2 Jaya. Pinecone doesn't need E2. She's fine at E1. If I get the sniper ticket, I'll recruit Totter or something. Got it. Leave it to us. Save us a lot of time if you just surrender. I'm kind of cheating since I've played IS4 and CN already, and I already did 15 there, so I know what I'm supposed to do. That's why I got here so fast with 4 stars. Click is there mostly for the chest. Funny thing. They stun click, but the drone keeps attacking. The drone is entirely independent from click. Th that's how drone casters work. It's really convenient for stuff like this. Yeah, Ascension 15 IS4 is way easier. Uh, there's no comparison. It kind of gets equal when we're, you're going for ending 3. But the way in which IS3 is more difficult are much more annoying. For now, I'll do ending I'll do all the endings in order. Ending one, ending two, and then ending, ending three. All of them on fifteen. After we're done with that, I'll start exploring other options. If I get hard stuck and can't complete the ending, I'll start experimenting with openings. But I do believe in my current opening. Okay, we have spot, and I don't want to get gummy. Gummy doesn't scale well anyway. She's not that much better. 
then spot at lower levels. I'll take something for later levels that can actually tank melee mobs, and that would be Bubble or Quora, does not matter which. They aren't good at E1, but they scale great later. This is the shield guard, we'll take that. Minus collapse value. Oh, that's convenient. We got rid of the poison clouds as well. Or maybe we didn't. If you, I guess if you go to 4 out of 4, you don't get rid of it. That's disappointing. Okay, yeah. So I was at 0 and then it gave 1. When, on higher difficulties, you lose one device when you enter the third floor, I think. But the scout node gives, it, gives you one device after that. We're going to do every ending. Ending 1 first. On 15. So, what I want to do on this floor is get as many fights as possible, but I do not want to get the stupid DH fight. That fight is ass and it should be on the fourth, the fourth floor. It's way too hard to do, and you very rarely have a squad that can do it. If I have a perfumer, I can do it with this squad, but not with what I currently have. Too annoying. So, uh, let me actually look at the stages. We can get four fights here. And we have many options to avoid a nasty fight. So this is probably the best fight. Not as many fights on top. Yeah, we're going here. The second ending is in the lost and found note. The one that you recycle runes and items in. The second option on there um, gives you a special rune that summons a note for the second ending. Actually, click here. Do we need to swap out Funk? Yeah, we do. And we'll have Jaya remove the caster. Bind this guy. We don't want to lose defense early. Spot will take the middle tile, so he can heal Bubble. Yeah, yeah, fine. Jaya can basically solo this lane. But they want to pick off the caster in the middle too. That was kind of bad. Should have been one tile back. If it was the emergency, he would have probably died to the crocodile. Okay, I don't want to roll RNG on Ethan's dodges, so we have Fang tank a few hits from the caster. Not much, but it should be enough. Actually, let's make sure it's enough. Do we get enough? Yeah. Ethan lives with one health. Or more like 34. And Spot will tank the caster. This will be a bit dangerous if I get it in, on emergency. I mean, his other skin is just a coat anyway. How much does that help at uh, minus whatever temperature? Yeah, this code is feeling kind of wimpy. Mm, don't want any more specialists, so we have to take a guard. There's basically two options that work for me well in IS4. The first is Humus, who is good at killing trash, and the second is Moose. And Moose is only there for one thing and that's to debuff the final boss, which isn't always necessary, so I always take Humus first. Uh, boss key passage, but we miss out on a lot of stuff here, so not really worth. Outer of Craving is a free win on the other hand. If I had another one, I would take the Bosky. <sighs> Let's 
lacking a medic this late in the run is getting annoying. I need something to heal on a wide range of tiles consistently. Spot and Gummy aren't that. Um, I just stick her here. Say whatever you say. don't see any harm in this. <sighs> yeah, we can just drop him. And set up for the other end. Yeah, eat them plus spot is enough for them and hummus. Spot has a pretty sweet amount of defense at least, so he's not really prone to dying. Can I get the caster book? Nope, that's a miss. We'll still leave Jaya there to tank a few hits from the caster. Uh, click can take one more hit. If they get hit, I'll deploy. Bubble to eat the next shot. I'm not sure if Bubble even has enough. If the caster has enough range to hit Bubble, but only workable tile. Uh, either way is probably fine. I'll go with this. He should charge in, in time, and then I should leak the two casters. Kind of surprised they managed to burst Jai. It's not like he has little health. I guess I shouldn't have tanked the bear. Alternatively, I could have let click die here, and then use Jai like this, and then Bubu like this, to absorb caster shots for a bit. Well, too late now, anyway. Also, Fang should have been treated at some point. I could have used her as a body. After the first or second time she gave me DP. Or maybe I could have just not deployed her at all. It's not like she gives that much DP. I kind of don't like how the... Recruit system works in the beginning. I think three operators is too few to start. Yep, we're getting Humus. Not Humus, Totter. Other good dude guy. So this is the stage I want to avoid at any cost uh, when I'm playing. This stage is ass and it's absolutely never worth doing. This is a floor 4 stage but you get it on the third floor. If you can clear it without any issue, then the run is over and you're definitely going to win. So I guess it's a good measuring stick for that. We can use one of these in the encounter later. Obviously we're gonna get the two fights. This on the other hand is the big free win map. Even if it's the normal mode, it's not worth taking. It's just a really hard stage. Kind of an annoying chest. This guy will probably kill spot a bit later. I'm fine with that. Or you know, now. That's also fine. We can kill the caster with it when the spot survives. Go, Jaya! Yay for Jaya. Deflecting hits from Eaton, because Eaton is tanking other stuff. No reason to waste the DP. Uh, he'll just die later. Retreat. 
That was bad. Bubble is tankier. Buying some time. I messed it up. I should have used bubble in on the block tile here. After spot inevitably dies. Alternatively, Jaya should have been deployed on this tile here, so he doesn't tank the hammer dude and has time to charge up. Bad play from me. Kind of dropped a bunch of lives on an easy stage for no reason. I see clouds rising. Probable hostiles in the snow. Well, dropping one life and dropping five is kind of the same. <sighs> Stay there. I see you. Mission accomplished. Not my best shot. Well, that's how it works. You can miss one thing and die, or you can miss and lose nothing. Just depends on the situation. I just because I clear with no leak doesn't mean the clear was objectively correct. Outer of craving is better. Uh, what fight did we get? Uh, this one is should be an easy win. Although we, although it's really annoying to play without a medic. Okay, I want to use Totter for this fight. I mentioned some corrections I can do earlier, so let's see if they apply. Huh? Oh, that's just kind of annoying. Mm. All right, then. This slows down spots healing. Really annoying. He doesn't need that much healing, so we should be mostly fine. But we also can't use it in well. There is no good tile that can be protected by a medic. Wait until he is pushed into spot so he can attack too. In position. Ready for action. Does she live? I really doubt that this guy has 1000 attack. Yeah, she's fine. We can retreat and deploy bubble, sort of. I think spot skill will charge in time. Beta shot, just in case. I guess it won't. Ooh, the Dominion Tower was managed to screw me up. Those were really no nasty ones, though. Maybe I should have just deployed it on like this. In any case, we'll just have him there pre deployed for the casters. Maybe I shouldn't bother with ranged operators that much anyway. To retreat something. I think. No, he's got, he's got. Yeah, Fang is pretty useless. She takes too long to generate DP, and at that point, you might as well not deploy her. Okay, I think this setup would have worked better. If these tiles aren't available. Um, we can just use the melee tiles here, and then have Jaya solo the lane. We can't call a mission complete if we let even a single enemy get through. Beagles, let's do better on the next one. Oh, we finally got the medic. Sadly, we have no hope. Uh, doesn't really matter. 
И Бискас has higher attack for the record. We'll take this for later. We can abuse the scout node. And we can summon money later. Let's see if we can upgrade something here. Yeah, why not? This is pretty useless for this fight anyway. I think Homus doesn't do anything for me here. So we can eat to him. Or Pinecone. Pinecone's also an option. Uh, but they want Homus E2 more. They're both kind of not worth the E2. Ready whenever. Kind of a swappy first run. Uh, losing the styles isn't a big deal. Yeah, we'll be fine. So you basically just don't want to make a connection between these styles and these styles. You can keep that lane open until almost the end. That attack was kind of a lot though. No oh, damn. If I have to rely on Jaya for everyone, that would be annoying. Didn't expect the spot to shot. Please hold on. I think this guy will just kill me now. Cause Ansel can't out kill this. Shouldn't have let spot time. I guess Jaya saves me. And now this guy goes to Karas click. Deploy bait to keep click alive. Dodge the second shot. It's actually a dodgeable shot. Yeah, it is. Bow. This card is probably what's going to kill me later. Because the boss will run back in, um, kill click, and then I can't kill this car. I'll try to kill the car, but I'm not sure where it runs away. Let's see how lucky I get with Ethan Binds. Not lucky enough. GG. I didn't react to that on time. Mm, kind of swap you through the third floor. I don't think the tactic is wrong though. Caper is pretty good, yeah. We don't have Karani yet. Uh, okay, around two. Not too broken to put out that run. Def there was definitely some swappy play from me, but I also didn't have anything that worth keeping. Since I didn't get any interesting items. Around two. Uh, again, kind of a, a lame first floor, but three fights is acceptable. Does the average player use Jaya or Eton? Would be a better question, I think. 15 enemies, so no, the Corber. I think that makes you not an average player, by definition. I think Ethan is outright better than Jaya in IS4. 
there's very few cases where you need to 1v1 something and only Jai can do it. Although that comes up a lot in IS3. And there's a lot of stages that just spam you with a ton of enemies. So I feel like Kitten performs better more often than Jai does. But again, the key difference is that Ethan needs you to. Jaya is kind of fine at E1. I'll greet for Ethan again. A random room. I get one key back on the second floor, right? That's how that worked. Uh, let's find it. There was some buff that did something to that effect. Let's see if I remember on what floor it worked. Deployment. It's the third floor, not the second floor. Not worth going to the encounter then. <laughs> yeah, it's the third floor. We just read it. Spot is always better than cardigan in IS. Thanks. Because he can heal for more in a burst, and if you have Cardigan here, you're not gonna need to heal from slug damage. So it's better to have a better healing skill for the actual dangerous enemy. A lot of stages in IS works like this, so Spot is always better than Cardigan. And that's to say nothing of the fact that he can heal operators other than himself. Uh, at what point is your CN account uh, so far? Do you have a bunch of E1 operators so, and they are looking to E2? Or are you still building up the E1 stuff? Yeah, yeah, fine. Because there are certain operators that are kind of bad at E1 but become super strong at E2. Ethan being one of them. Another is Indigo or Cutter. If you want to focus on E1 stuff in particular, um, Humus is really strong at E1. On the other hand, the Steel is kind of bad and not worth at T1. Yeah, you're very early. Uh, so just focus on having a way around the T1 team. Uh, get at least one AoE medic, so perfumer, and one single target medic, preferably Susuru. You need at least two anti air snipers. Uh, May and Miti, your or May and Cruz work fine. You can mostly ignore the supporters, other than Pudenku, until you're ready to eat stuff. And Pudenko is also an operator that's absolutely fine at E1 and you should leave her there. Yeah, Susuru is a monster medic. Uh, I just don't use her in IS much. By the way, this is the most and uh, single most annoying uh, encounter on the first floor. If you get it early on, it can be very difficult. Now, Ethan S1 is a great cheese for it. Although it's possible to kill it purely with Pinecone and Click, but only if I'm using Spearhead. If you have Ethan in your squad, Got it. you just wait for these guys to spawn, and you can see where they are. Ethan can just start smacking all of them. He's gonna deplete half of these guys' health before he can even move. This guy here is getting hit by Pinecone. Although the front line is getting melted a bit, let's protect yeah, the other yeah, book fine. from unnecessary damage. Uh, we can just focus on the chest, it's fine. That gets full pinecone damage, so there's no need to retreat. Yeah, the first one always walks straight into the hole. Ah. 
That would require having a mudrock. Pretty good item. And we lucked out with the E2 item. Uh, what did we have? I do want to summon an emergency more. Emergency fights are healthy for me. Okay, did we get any good stuff this time? E to Ethan. Might as well grab the medic. Perfumer. This isn't worth it. Might as well. We will need squad limit later. Don't like the SP device. Mega buff for the medic. Buff for Ethan and Click, but only useful later. E to Click. Okay, I'll eat to both click and pinecom. Best value I can get for my money here. How do I deal with Toa stage? Is that what it, that says? I can't see it because the emote thing is covering the chat. Right pile is the roadblock, yeah. Well, I didn't get it, so I don't think it's good either, obviously. Yeah, a lot of the reason IS4 has such a lower difficulty curve than IS3 is because the shop isn't complete and utter garbage. We should have a scout node in here somewhere, but no bosky. I like it to pinecone more than her skin, yeah. No doubt about that. Uh, yeah, low altitude is fine. Playing it with one melee body is kind of us, though. Maybe I'll skip it. Uh, we can just drown them all with click, I guess. Or Eaton. Screw it. I want to get the extra fight. Oh, okay, that mimic will stay there forever. Totally killable mimic. Ethan down so he can bully the snipers and get the chest that's actually gettable. Click should be on the other side. Yeah, it even blocks a SWAT for me, which is annoying as hell. What an asshole. I want to deploy click here. This time we have a medic though, so SWAT won't die. That's like the designated me place at this stage. I always see it. You need to stun them. If they get stunned, they fall in. This one might kill click though. Kind of close. Double kill. Should have used her skill earlier so that it isn't close. Yeah, I prefer camping the vent. It's better than relying on stun, but I only had one block to work with and I cannot camp it with ranged operators properly. Beagle over Cardigan, the higher defense, that's why. This guy has lower defense than Beagle, yeah? Yep. Ascension doesn't give movement speed. Uh, after I die, we'll look at the other one. Okay, I have a 
there's a chance this stage will kill me, uh, but it's not like we can avoid it. And they have something important to demonstrate on it. That's very important to know. Now, this looks like it's a two-lane map. It actually isn't. The It's kind of a scam of the map. There is a... So, you have guys from this box going here, guys from this box going here. But all of them will always step on this tile, at least a little bit. So, if you have something on this tile, you can block both lanes. Yeah, this is an annoying stage. It's hard for everyone. This is the tile I'm talking about. And because they get blocked on here, a caster here can hit everything. The downside is that you lose out on range tiles. Damn, that caster is an asshole. We'll activate spot as late as we can. This is... There's kind of nothing else for Pudenko to do, so I guess I'll use her to catch Trace. Kill at least one spider before they hit spot. If I had Pinecone down, that might be survivable, but TP doesn't grow on trees. And I'll deploy Pinecone later. Nah, fuck that. Need, need her now. To charge up her skill for the Wraith. Buying time. Whatever you so many weaknesses. Okay, that might be fine. Trust in Ethan. And just clean up the raves. Acceptable. Provided I kill the raves, of course. The casters take a while to kill Ethan. Gives me time to redeploy other stuff. Unfortunate. Failed to dodge both. Stun bait one. Is it my turn? I should uh, leak at least one of them. Okay. So the question is if I have a chance to catch both casters. Because this one will start turning now, and if I let him go, I definitely won't leak this one. That's the safest play. If I try to stop him, there's a risk I might leak both. I feel like being greedy, so I'll try and go for both. I uh, should probably do this at 1x speed. There goes the charge. Yeah, yeah, fine. Because Perfumer can't outheal them, so I might just die. I'm fine with risking it though. I like being greedy. It's fun. I end up leaking one caster anyway, so it didn't matter. Yeah, I can't really tank this with just uh, Spot and Perfumer. If I have E2 Perfumer, it's possible. Or E2 Gummy. This is an acceptable outcome. If I take an emergency fight, I'm probably going to leak something. But I'm willing to sacrifice the lives to get some benefit. Now, the benefit I got here was crappy, but that's what I have to work with. Like, I still get a relic out of it, so I'm fine with leaking. Sometimes you just get a bad relic out of it. This is a free win, so we get two free win stages at the end. There's a mission? I wanna go! I'm not sure it's necessarily optimal. Because the co-ops values can get annoying when you have a bunch of debuffs from them. But it feels like relying on getting good items is more consistent than just avoiding every emergency ever. Least of all because you'll be forced to, win, to doing at least some of them. Oh yeah, that sh Shrek quote is all me. Ethan here is a very strong position. He just reviews everything by himself. Alright then. Then we have Pudenko here to spawn camp the tree block. The important thing to note in this map is that you can really delay deploying your actual DPS. You just need to take care of all the CVs. It's 
Aslında Doruş. And the idea, it's ideal to not deal with this guy at all and just nuke him from orbit. This is the easiest stage in the second floor, in my opinion. Unless you have some extremely awkward squad for it. Anything that reveals range like this kind of trivializes it. Myrtle is also another weird one. I kind of prefer taking Vigna to Myrtle because Myrtle will die to one trash mob. Vigna can stop one trash mob. So sometimes I can get better value out of Vigna in the early stages. And Vigna C2 is great. But Myrtle will massively outscale Vigna as my squad grows larger. So again, Myrtle is the greedy play while Vigna is safer early. But the difference isn't is pronounced. I need Myrtle a lot sooner than I need Jaya. Giant, of course. Show is probably also worth it. There's a lot of stages with holes. But the stages with holes are the easy ones, anyway. Okay, same strategy as before, but we do it on the normal mode. Uh, kind of. Beanstalk is great against normal enemies. Sucks against the more armored ones. She also can't do the damage Vigna can. So if you get enemies that can beat the shit out of the crap, you just end up with a Myrtle that gives less DP. But Beanstalk isn't a bad choice either. Just fuck off with the caster shit. Yeah, this is much more tankable. Should probably actually start using healing. Odenku is another option for this style, since she can silence the spiders. But as long as he survives the spiders, I don't care about them. And click then does more damage. Oh, this one actually passed through. Kind of irritating. Normally it blocks it, not sure why it passed through now. Did it have three enemies on it and I wasn't paying attention? Well, there's a simple solution to that. Wait until this guy explodes. Block. Good enough. Kind of the same result as earlier, but for a different reason. Ethan isn't ideal here, obviously. I'd get a better result with Jaya. But there are a lot of other stages in which Ethan does work better. Well, if the spider wasn't bound here, he would have walked into Perfumer, which also isn't ideal. I haven't tried Beanstalk too much in IS3. Maybe she works fine. With hard work, even an idiot can get the job done. I'll try her next time I die. Free money, why not? E2 Pudenku. And uh, what did we have? Yep, select one encounter. Item that we can't choose, but it's a good item. This is irrelevant. You have a chance for stuff to cost more. Very broken blue rune. Kind of don't want to go into a fight when I don't know which one it is. 
since it can just kill me if it's the water map. Uh, maybe I can survive the water map. Should I greet for it? It's a new one, Jaya, though. It's kind of unreliable. We have enough damage for everything else. Ethan can help with the boats. And we can use Myrtle to distract. Okay, we'll risk the fight. That will give us about 3 fights. I can't really dispel fights, so if I get something nasty I'll just die. Let's see if this is the worst node available. I run Spearhead almost exclusively. I just enjoy the extra stats. Okay, this is fine. I was expecting something worse. Pinecone first to make the drone fuck off. We can deploy the other stuff later. Spot it on everything else. Right, or spot Myrtle Eat on everything else. Yeah, this is fine. Free win. Heal yourself. We'll deploy Jaya too if we need to. I'd rather not. The hope is that Ethan will charge in time. Seems like he will. Should probably deploy Jaya anyway. Because Spock spot is kind of squishy so late into the run. The reason Pinecon is in the second spot is so she can hit drones better. If she only has the 3-4 spots to work with, it gets kind of awkward. And we can miss drones. We can let this guy through. You don't care if Jaya dies. But I can kill him, so why not? Shouldn't be any decorber. I think KS3 is harder overall. Why do you think KS4 is harder? Uh, we can get this. I don't really care about hope at this point. I don't really have the opportunity to summon an emergency. We can get Totter or some better defender. I need defenders later, not on the third floor. We're getting Totter. We'll take this one, or this one. I guess it doesn't matter, since I can't see shit beyond that. We got rid of the most annoying buff. Good for me. And we get the free operator. Sadly, it's Myrtle. I could have gotten Humus too, I guess. But, eh. Nof nothing too good for Humus anyway. I think taking this fight is suicidal, but I can't avoid walking into an emergency most likely. Unless I'm rolling Garnage no matter what I do, because you don't have any vision. If it if this is the emergency one I'll just die a hundred percent. Hmm. I can't get value out of any one totter. Can go away. 
This boss is not killable with my current squad. So even if this fight doesn't kill me, the boss should kill me. I think it's optimal to spend my vision because I need to get a lot of stuff. Otherwise I'll just hit a stage I can't kill and die. It's not going to be this one. Well, maybe it will be, but I think I can kill the emergency. For example, I'm not confident my current squad can actually deal with the boss that's coming. Ethan will probably carry me in the end, so and I'm probably just over-exaggerating, to be honest. But if I got the blade there with this squad, there's no way in hell uh, I'll just die. At least we get to abuse Ethan better this time. Oh damn, he killed an Ethan Jaya. Was paying too much attention to that, and now I'm gonna probably die. I was just surprised the caster can kill Jaya. Kind of dead now. Can you walk out of there? Would be appreciated. In short, I should have deployed Jaya earlier. We are now super dead. I assume you one shot Myrtle. <laughs> yeah, they one shot Myrtle. He would have walked through or the next one. So it didn't matter the Jaya retreated. I was dead there anyway. That's fine. I'm pretty sure the boss stage would have killed me anyway. I don't have damage to kill the boss. I can take something other than Spearhead, but then I just get stat checked even harder. Kind of need a good item to get a consistent run going. More money or one hope? I have beaten 15, yeah. It's kind of just RNG with the starts. Because the enemies have better stats than me. Yeah, that's just normal when playing IS, so I'm fine with it. It's a lot worse in IS3. In IS3, you get to AFK farm two floors, and then if you get Sanguine Arch on the third floor, you just die. And then you have to roll an infinite amount of RNG to get through the fourth and fifth floor in a similar manner. And if you don't get good items, you die. And you also need to eat to Jaya for half the endings, or you die. IS4 is much better. And this one is doable, but annoying. I also keep not getting any fights. Honestly, this is kind of reset worthy. But whatever, we'll play it out. The reason the third floor looks so hard, and I keep dying on it, is because I'm not getting any fights. That's why I'm spending all of my in indexes too. I want to get as many fights as possible so I have a more workable squad. On higher difficulties, so you, operators cost one extra hope. That's why they cost all of my hope. Useful tile to know. Pinecone will hit stuff on this tile. So she covers both lanes here, even though it doesn't look like it. Because enemies move kind of like this. I should have pulled one of these sheep. I might die on the first floor now. Because all of these four assholes come together. And if I aggro them all at once, I can't kill them in time. Oh, 
Holding the shield is tiring, pal. Can't pull on this wave. Wait for later. Okay, we can pull now. Yeah, that's perfect. You see how one of the sheep was left behind? That's what they wanted. If all three of them rush something can leak. If I separate to a group of three, it's fine. I should not have deployed click here. I for because when there's four sheep together like this, you need to pull one of them. Otherwise, what normally happens is that one of them uh, just aggro's all of them. And then they rush through. With hard work, even an idiot can get the job done. No, it does seem pretty tight. Maybe my strategy is just bad. I'll give it a few tries if it doesn't work. We'll try a different strategy. But this is what's felt mo most consistent for me. Bless it, Ethan. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Wasn't that always going to be an emergency? Because... It's the only other fight in the floor, right? So, it's kind of no way that it can't be an emergency. We'll try something else from last time. These guys do, did a bit too much damage to the first rock. I'll see if I can save it by deploying Pinecone first. Eh, not really. Eaton first is better then. We're fine anyway, I'm just experimenting with how the stage works. Wait for the other one. No need to waste damage. Is it possible to not get an, an emergency? I know I've seen it in IS3, but I've never seen it on the first floor in IS4. Basically, always get an emergency. This is useless. Someday I'm going to get a damage item. Mm, this is worth consideration. Purely so I can get an E2 operator out faster. Recover for life points or apply buffs. It's not worth going up and down for an encounter. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Can't get a good medic. E to Eaton. Do I row in the hopes I'd get a good operator there? Well, there isn't anything good I can get. We're eating. We're getting uh, hibiscus then. Oh yeah, reduced hope. I guess the item is helping me. Okay, you're not that bad if you're the first item I get on the first floor. I'm sorry, stupid hope book. So now we need to pay more attention to our snipers, because they can die to casters really easily. On the plus side, they will murder the shit out of everything. So that's the best start we've gotten so far. Yeah, and this is a good floor. We can get one, two, three, four fights. Four fights and get something to it. Path with no end is the free win fight. Oh, I don't need hope later, so I don't like it much. But it did provide a lot of value here. With it to acid drop and perfumer. So, I am begrudgingly acknowledging that it's good yeah, in the first floor. Yeah, I'll just deploy Pinecone first. You know, after spot. Spot can just beat him to death. Nuke this guy. We can ignore the stump snipers entirely. I think this means we're going to have 
the Corobear, so I'll set up everything in this corner for it. I might be wrong on that, I haven't memorized all the timings. No, no the Corobear, never mind. So 26 has a chance for it, we'll get two enemy spawns here now. And that's everything. Uh, you basically want to fight over everything, at least when you're playing 4 stars. Because I need as many recruits as possible. But even in general, a fight... Even at worst, the fight will give you a recruit, ingots and hope. And after enough fights, squad limit and lives. A fight just has higher potential value than an encounter. It's telling that the best thing you can get from an encounter is essentially an emergency fight. Or s with some rare exceptions that give you... Uh, uh, this is trash and I don't want to take it. Humus is probably better. Fuck it. I'll throw and take uh, Quartz. Probably a waste of the, uh, the guard ticket, but fuck it. She wants to come, she can come. My brain fell asleep. No, I guess I can use Quartz. And the this one is fine here. Wheel, it's almost the same with 4 stars. Ah, uh, it's just that I want the recruit instead of the hope. But it's the same thing other than that. Save us a lot of time if you just surrender. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, fine. Acid drop can do something neat here. And just murder all the shield guys instantly. With the defense ignore. Oh, and we're getting something convenient. Normally you want to deploy your medic after your guard. But I'm using quartz, Perfect. so that's not true. Honestly, the archers have such little health that they can't kill her anyway. But let's put perfumer there anyway. It's not like she's gonna have much to do on the other end of the lane. Okay, maybe quartz does need it. I, it's impossible to overestimate quartz. Or underestimate, rather. Whatever you say, so many weaknesses. She's my weapon for the time being. About six hundred damage. My sword. Kind of want a single target medic now, though, if we're gonna use this uh, thing. Perfumer isn't good enough to keep her as alive. Yeah, you look at 10k health, but then she's gonna get hit twice by two collapsals and die instantly. She doesn't sound sad, she is sad. Quartz is terminally depressed. I mean, I'm not gonna say no if you're gonna give me a need to every time. Scout note. Uh, kind of sucks they don't know what the emergency is. We can always just make spot fuck off, I guess. Or click. We don't need click. Click and fuck off onto the second floor. This is a free win, so perfect. Okay, the 4 hole book is pretty good. Doesn't Didn't do much for me in IS3, but here I, I like it. If it's gonna give me a need to operate it every time. Uh, there's probably some shelter relic. What would help her most is her actually doing some damage though. Convenient. That's where I would have placed him anyway. Four ingots! I still wanna just place Quartz in the Collapse oh, path. Wak -wak 
Don't eat my block, please. I like how the, these guys just walk through the box. No fucks given. I assume Durnar has more death than spot. Yeah, 750. A bit late, not a big problem. Can Quart survive getting hit by two trash mobs? Let's find out. She's my weapon for the time being. Okay, probably, yeah. Then These guys have less DPS. Huh. Were we doing the emergency? Because normally I only see these guys in the emergency. Anyone remember if this was the normal or the emergency fight? These guys have a burst attack but then they attack slow, so there's no way they kill quartz. They only did 5000 damage. It's fine, they'll get blocked by spot. Oh, it was the emergency. I forgot. It really doesn't matter with this stage. Yay, we have defense and quartz now. 10% extra defense for quartz. Excellent. Obviously, we're getting a free fight. We have anything we want to use? Not really. Uh, I don't need spot here. Uh, there is a flood defense buff relic, yeah. The one where you, from IS2, where you wait 60 seconds and then it gives you a defense buff. I know this looks weird, but it means Ethan has to charge in time for the shadow. And since he's at E2, this asshole is not going anywhere. Honestly, item plus one operator clear the stage, but I have other bodies. Might as well drop them somewhere. Quartz is semi useful in the right situations. Um, if she had defense, she'd become really good really fast. Like, Matuimaru has 150 defense and she takes forever to die compared to Quartz. I've had Quartz with 20,000 health before. Probably have a video of it too. The one where I had her so with the chest stage. She survived! 10k health, amazing! <laughs> I'd be depressed too if I was Quartz. Well, I am depressed anyway, but I'd be depressed for other reasons. <laughs> Reduced attack is fine. Uh, Bubu it is. This isn't useful now. Defender attacks are bad so early. This is extremely good. This is not extremely good. Taking extremely good item. I think Crushers having zero defense is kind of cringe to begin 
with because the big swords like great swords are used defensively you know like a spear to keep stuff away from you in the first place so it makes no sense for them to be bad on defense that's the whole point of having a big ass weapon to hit stuff from far away uh this is free then fight probably skip the scout note fight 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 yeah we can eat pretty go good here anything we want to use Still no. I could just remember what runes I have, but that's a pain. Anything I want to change here? Yeah, somebody's getting the boot and we're getting click back in. Durnar can't hit the middle. I think it makes sense for a crusher to hit more than one tile in front of them. That's kind of the whole point of having a big ass weapon, right? We're probably gonna get some guard for the spear that does that in the future. So click is here just to DPS down the Avenger. Ethan basically solves the stage. And the other operators are here just for to look pretty basically. The 25 physical damage relic is really helpful. Oh, how rude of you. Go back. Oh, wait for Pinecone. And let's just deploy acid drop. Nothing's going to reach Quartz on that position. Yeah, she was basically there to do look pretty. She cut one mob though. I mean, I could have just deployed acid drop and shot that mob, but Quartz did catch it. Avenger number two, who's already dead from click, really. Now on that we can agree, Quartz is hot. Objectively correct opinion. Quartz doesn't really compete with Stel and Humus. She competes more with Matuimaru, which is really fucking weird. Because she doesn't have any defensive skill, which is what Matuimaru excels at. So she only she's only used in really weird spots, where you can get her damage off without her being damaged, for example. Uh, for example, I used her on H2O3. And that was because there was no other melee operator that beats her on damage, since she can hit two bodies from the Masti at once, and the Masti has about a thousand defense. Ooh, we got the good stuff now. Fuck the scout note. This is at random, but I'm gonna do every stage here, so I might as well just cast it right now. Since they all have bridges anyway, it doesn't matter what it hits. I'll take it anyway. Okay, so it makes more sense to go down. First of all, it gives me a chance to avoid this shithole. And second, if the emergency is also bad. We have spare operators because we have too many, so we can send somebody out. To get us the ing ingots back. This is easier, by the way. This is the easier of the two options. But I'm very, very greedy. And once we have a run going, we should avoid wasting it. Let's just think this through. I am super greedy, but I also want to not die. So, let's say we use Humus and Acid Drop to deal with casters and bombs. Now ah, that's success. F fuck this stage. Uh, fuck off, we're just going for the emergency. I can't imagine a solid solution for it. With this quad. Uh, yeah, this is whatever. Probably should use Humus as Tudo. I guess it doesn't matter. Is Perfumer doing anything? Quartz definitely fucking isn't. Let's go with this quote. I'd greet it if I had any fucking clue how to do that stage with this code without dying. I can't imagine a solution, so I'm skipping it. If I could cope my way into thinking I could do it, I'd try. But I think I'm just fucked there. 
Also, I might just die to this drone because of the reduced pinecone health. Does acid drop have more health? Yeah, but she doesn't hit the drone, so it has to be pinecone. We're fine. Or not. Fuck this drone. Okay, so now we need to deploy acid drop like this. Otherwise, she's not gonna kill the drone. Oh my god, she did so too little damage. Ah, fuck this drone. I got fucked by the relic that um, gives health. This is fine. I'm probably going to die to drones, but other than that, it's fine. Okay, I have enough lives to not die to drones. Luck tester, go! <laughs> I'm still gonna die to drones. But that was funny. I love it. Yay, go acid drop. Kill some of the drones. Or maybe one of them. One of them would be good. Okay, Ethan can kind of carry this. Uh, just hold Ethan until we get the... This is go in range. Heal that guy more. <laughs> uh, Durnar should be able to catch. Don't drop that. Keep it. Yeah, keep binding it. Just like that. And we can finish killing it with Durnar. Wait, shit. Don't, don't kill this guy too quickly. I need the chest. Wonder what was a better way to play that. I think I should have delayed Pinecone's deploy until I had enough um, DP to deploy Perfumer too. Then she wouldn't have died. I would have still leaked one drone though. So maybe acid drop in the back instead. So her skill can charge right away. Yeah, that makes more sense. Acid drop in the back so her skill charges right away. Eh, might as well. Shop is worth. We can spend it somewhere in uh, Boski. Woohoo! Triple Boski. We're going to eat now. Now, something that's scary is that they don't have a good way. Okay, never mind. So this is... But this is an uncombat note. I might die in the Boskis because I can't dispel stages and I don't have Jaya. We might get the Shady Frozen. It can fuck us up. Obtain hope with every step. Okay. So this is a boring Boski. Which is good. I don't need interesting bosskies right now. So, something useful to note is that if you have an item that gives you something, uh, for example, 5 objective shield, and you get rid of it, you will still have that 5 objective shield. You can also get rid of a promote book, and the operator it promoted will still be E2. But you get, get an item of comparable quality. Boski number two. Okay, this is perfect. We can choose to do the emergency or we can avoid it. I am 100% going to turn the encounter into a shop. Because it's probably going to be tow or some bullshit I don't want to do anyway. Yay, free win. It doesn't matter, so we'll use quartz. If you burn the deployment limit item, you lose the deployment limit, I believe. If somebody has tried it, correct me on that. 
戦場の空気って相変わらず最悪ね Well, quartz is hotter anyway. Oh, this is where we need to damage them at range. Kind of irritating, but Titan will do well here. Or is it some other bullshit? So not seeing red numbers from click. I guess they just walk slow as hell. But have a lot of health. Or maybe they have defense. If they have defense... Uh, Acid drop will murder them. We'll probably be fine with it either way. Just not sure what the mechanic is here. Maybe I should have read it. Yeah, they just have high defense. Uh, acid drop fucks them up. So it's defense and rest probably. And Ethan starts doing a lot of damage when he's skill procs. So it's not health. That's fine. Uh, Pinecon can deal with high stats. Honestly, it's some ways it's helpful to me. Makes Avengers less irritating. Good job, Acid Drop. In my defense, reading the bosky passages are annoying as hell. You have to exit the run and then enter it again to be able to read that shit. This is worth celebrating. When we get back to Rhodes Island, we won't have to eat my cooking anymore. The ultimate depression line. Double recruitment. Uh, we too. Yeah, I don't need a second medic that much. We too first. We only have so many squads to work with. And I think I need Myrtle. This squad is getting big. Next pick will be Moose, because I'll need her for later. So close yet so far. This bullshit again. Yeah, that's fine. We have Myrtle this time. Quartz has absolutely nothing to do here, so we're bringing Bubble. Because Bubble can get punched in the face all day. Unlike Spot, she's not gonna start dying from it. Or Humus, apparently. If it gave me pure stream at it, I'd have considered it. But no way for more. Okay, I won't greet for deploys. I'll uh, see drop first. And we'll let the, leave the drone to her. Oh yeah, everything barely moves. So I'll see drop is correct anyway. Uh, that's close enough, right? 4 DP, yeah. She's not gonna die in 4 DP. Oh, maybe she will. Eat on next, 100%. Like this. Doing next to zero damage. Bubble first. She can get punched in the face the most. She's not even losing health because of Perfumer. She can also face tank the spear, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she'll be fine. Do we get the extra health as well? Yeah, we... Seems like it. Wasn't paying attention. For a bit. So annoying. Hi, 
face tanking the spear, yay. I wonder if I'll have it on this skill in time. Even if I don't, I can remove Pinecone. Yeah, I don't wanna play with what can and can't tank the spear, so... Wait, never mind, it's slowed, so it doesn't matter. Slowed, so spear does no damage. The drones were literally uncubable. They transformed from A1 drones into A2 drones. Let's just drop every book we have. I don't want to count. I'm using Spearhead, so I can get stat checked list. After watching this stage, I think you can understand why I want I like using Spearhead so much. Imagine the same shit, but I don't have 15% extra base value attack. And then try to imagine something actually dying. Thank you, I want the Jaya anyway. Could be useful later. Okay, um, we don't... Oh, so this doesn't hold until I go on to the next floor. I thought it worked like scout notes where it will clear it once you enter the passage. Fuck you, I knew it was going to be you. Okay, Ethan is really good in this fight and we have Myrtle. How um, do I want to do it? So we have Myrtle, everything barely moves. Uh, so they just have movement speed, right? Well, I need anything that can hit past defense, basically. So not Jaya. Um, let's see if we can imagine it. So the problem is that their defense is so high that basically only Acid Drop does damage. Ethan can stow them forever, but... If I had Pudenko, I'd try it. I don't have enough slow. And once they get into melee, they'll fuck me up. I fucking knew it was going to be Toa. Uh, it's not that bad because Ethan just perma them. But I won't be able to kill them. I'll, and I don't have that many lives to leak. If I had something like Pudenku to consistently slow them even more on top of Ethan, I would take the fight. But without that, I'm not confident they have the tools to fight it. Next one. Max life points, duck life points. Okay, so now things in this node will actually die. That will be a new experience. Also, maybe I should have checked what the boss was. Oh well, not much I can do about it at this point anyway. Are there any hierarchy characters I changed to 4 stars? So are you asking me like for waifu purposes or if there's a 5 star so bad that I consider it a 4 star? Because the answer is wind chimes. Yeah, I have the book that gives me insta 4 stars. No, Bedic, that's fine. I'll retreat as he drop if I need a medic or another book or some more.
Oops, I missed. Yeah, that's fine. Mostly. Top lane's fine. Just the Avenger left. Yeah, I have too many defenders in this squad. I'd rather have less. There, this is the item that gives what death that I mentioned earlier. The only quartz defense buff. I kind of like the item, but I don't think it's actually that good. Money for later, that I probably won't be able to use. No more defenders, give me something else. Uh, pudding. Can't make use of this. Damn, all of these are trash. Which one do you think is the least trash? Even if I could make use of these deep cover summons are trash on this difficulty. I guess two extra lives. Okay, this is free. I say this now and then I'm gonna die to two casters or something. Uh, no, nothing I really wanna change. I guess I should bring a real operator instead of quartz, but fuck it. She's been in the team for this long. The metal crown crap should count as a summon, yeah? Good scenery here, doctor. We're counting on you again today, little. Not really a yeah, fan of the squad I ended up with. We'll use Squartz to secure that side. <laughs> and Jaya for the other. Well, Quartz died one caster. She defeated one caster. Kind of... Irritating though. This thing actually has a lot of health. I should be fine though. Eat and bind, go. It's advancing menacingly. Would appreciate it if you die around now. Uh, at this point I need this to fuck off. I need another body here. To finish killing this asshole. Okay, so that's mostly done. I'm going to collapse real hard on the Archer Wave, which is now, because they do 1 million damage. Mostly I'm just trying to kill enough stuff to stay alive. Yay, Jaya survived. If the two archers hit the same thing, they're basically gonna murder it. But we have tanky stuff now. We're fine. Yeah, there's a reason I pick Kitten over Jaya. I think you can see it clearly for yourselves. And the archers didn't even kill 99% of my operators. How unusual. I am having a good, good run. Okay, so now we want to feast on the fourth floor, and then we want to basically not have any fights in the next one. His items are both kind of us. Ah, so these help me activate my skills, but they don't buff the skill itself. This isn't good for me because I need stats, stats to get through defense, stats to kill stuff faster. So this is a kind of bad item combination. We didn't have the jump this run. But this benefits it the most, so we'll take this, so he can keep carrying. Not ideal, but... <laughs> no! <laughs> I'd rather have Quartz. Fuck off. <laughs> Frostleaf. An issue I can see here is that I only have one tool that will change the stage note. 
I might go to a lost and found note. Just so I can get the second ending. I can use the rune to remove fights in the fifth floor. You say poor Frostleaf, but she's Frost Frostleaf, it's what she deserves. So, there isn't any fight I fear on the, the fourth floor. So I'm happy to just take this path, curse myself on the lost and found. And then I can even choose whether I want to do this emergency or not. And I can even choose it from here, which allows me to take three other fights. If I can take three fights, there's no reason to take the emergency in the first place. The other option is to summon a shop right now. And skip this. Mm, bottom is trash though. Two fights. Okay, I wanna, I wanna use the shop. Or actually, since I'm not gonna need the shop this turn. We're gonna use the money now. And we'll save the shop for later. I'm willing to sacrifice the... What stage was it again? Okay, this. This is the... I probably should eat two pinecone at some point stage. I'm being assigned to combat? Also, Bubu is the only thing Give that can tank shit. To get ready. I... I can do this. Okay, I'm probably overthinking this one. Frostleaf isn't saved if she can freeze things. She still has a 55 SP cost on her S2. That's indefensible. If they give her a normal SP cost on her skills, she'll be usable, right? And remove the attack speed debuff on her talent, she's usable. That's never gonna happen though, so she's fucked. Normal bubble, but she has 6000 health. Basically, this is what they want to need to defend her for. They can actually just tank normal enemies without any problem. There's no rush to deploy DPS, so I can calmly deploy everything. We'll probably sacrifice Jaya into this guy. If we need to. Doesn't feel like I do. Yeah, it's fine. He'll definitely die before he reaches Bubu. Well, we think Bubu isn't a big deal if he dies right after anyway. Yep. Come inside. No medic, by the way. I love it when Bubble stat checks enemies with high attack. Doc is kind of free. Uh, what do you want to give up on? Obviously, perfumer. And then we want Ethan to light, land the bind. I missed the space bar, but. Okay, I should remove pudding too. And just add another body. Like so. 
kind of sloppy. I just had an excessive body, so it didn't matter. Bobo isn't better than Quora. They're extremely interchangeable, so I just pick whenever, whichever one at random. Eh, moose, 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 moose. She's just for the boss. That's all she's here for. Lost and found. Where I just want this. I'm not going for the second ending boss right now. I just want this. It's worth the debuff. Just for the ability to turn a fight into something that isn't a fight. Because I'm not fighting anything on the fifth stage. Period. Uh, you're all useless, I guess. Shouldn't have even bothered taking Cutter. I don't have the items to make her work. Yeah, normal is fine. I don't want to do the emergency on this stage. I might get... Uh... Nah, it's fine. I'll do the emergency if it comes. I have the tools for it. I'm, I assume ending 3 has been done already on CN with um, difficulty 15. If it hasn't, I'll do it eventually. You can always get some godlike RNG and then do it with 4 stars or whatever. Just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not possible. This is kind of sloppy. On lower difficulties, I basically had Humus take care of all the trash. I feel like that's not as viable here. Safe spot for click. Spreading button bubble propaganda, I see. I approve. I'm afraid Jai is gonna block him. Wait a bit. I should have him Jai further back though. Otherwise, he then can die to these assholes. Which he probably will about now. Yeah, well, such is life. Pinecone will be our designated stun bait. This is fine, I can take care of it later. Yeah, I definitely. Yeah, I don't want to do the emergency on this stage. Jaya can go home. Bait, so pudding doesn't get stunned. Also. Probably need to switch to something heavier duty. Pretty sure the sniper can hit over there. That was really annoying. I'm now afraid of fighting the emergency. I definitely feel like my damage is low. Well, Ethan doesn't need to bait anything if he can just kill the enemy himself, right? Pretty good for Jaya. E to Moose. Okay, so we have a 2 to... for attack speed. We can remove 2 fights. And we have... we just don't have bonus health for the boss. But that's acceptable. What the fuck was noise disturbance? Uh, kind of uncertain on this one. Can probably do it, but the runes aren't that worth it, so I'm just doing it for the item anyway. 
And I don't think this fight is worth three other fights. Lost and found note, which lets me remove another fight. Yeah, I think I'd rather take three other fights. Purely for the ingots, if nothing else. Because I'm gonna summon a shop later. Wait, let me actually look at the fight. This is a free win. It doesn't matter. Actually, maybe it isn't. I don't have any to pank on. Uh, Ure Lion Bubble. Let's go. Is Hashi worth using for AFK tanking? When I don't want to press buttons, I on the CN account I borrow sometimes I use Nian. Because she doesn't get one shot, since she has like 5000 health. I used her for the Steam Knight yesterday so I can tank him without pressing any buttons. I love losing car cars to drones. You saw nothing? Humus cannot DPS here. Should have had Bubble one tile back. That will be fine. Probably. I say with complete lack of confidence. Keep him stunned, please. Wait for the other drone. Yeah, Jai doesn't really 1v1, but he will live long enough. Doing this because Bubble has no defense. Eat him to fuck up the trash a bit. Also helps with tanking drones. Bubble is too here to damage the drones as much as possible. Wait for the hit. Acceptable. And stow the trash as much as possible. It's fine if Jaya dies, we will let Bubble block and then drop Moose. Died instantly anyway, so moot point. Most annoying drone wave. Don't wait for shit. Really? Moose exploded? <laughs> the fuck? Most scary. She exploded heroically. Shield guards are great on this stage. They tank the drones for you and also protect the cards at the start. Don't underestimate the shield guards, they have value on that stage. Uh, guard, take it, suck, I have every guard I want. And quartz. And cutter, if we're being honest. Oh, it's the most annoying stage in the game. Okay, at least acid drop is really good here. Moose is worth, pudding probably isn't. I said and quartz, and then and also cutter. Don't forget quartz in the useless guard category. Go somewhere where a drone won't explode you. This drone first, so she can also kill the trash mob. Mm. 
click can start working on this drone because that's where we want to click. The moment this guy moves forward, we block. Kind of bad timing, but Moose can stay there. It's fine. I assume if I put Humus there, he's just gonna die to two drones or something. That feels like a Humus thing to do. Uh, on difficulty 15, uh, just remove this guy. We can catch this with Jaya. Or with Humus. Humus is fine too. The drone is taking about 5 million years to die. Should have probably placed Myrtle back here or something. But uh, we're fine for now. There's two assholes coming from this lane. I don't want to block them if I don't have to. The stupid drone is moving. Don't wanna use the blockers. Durnar gets to go here. And we can block those two. Kind of concerns about the drones. Retreat Myrtle. Oh yeah, they can see there. No chance. Survive both hits. Acceptable. Let them pass and then block the flag. Fuck, should have dropped perfume earlier. This drone goes through, nothing I can do about it. And this one goes here, so I think Cassie drop kills it. Yeah, just barely. Give it a ground target. So it stops moving. Bubble does not reflect damage to the drones. The drones don't actually attack you themselves. Uh, they're very similar to the chapter 11 things, or I guess the chapter 12 things, that summon suicidal drones. They're the summoner, not the attacker. I keep getting guard recruits. This stage again. Yeah, I don't know what I'm looking at. We're obviously doing it. Bring back pudding. Just give me a bit more time to get ready. I... It can be called whatever it wants. It's about how the mechanic works. You can obviously call it so that. The artillery attack is just a normal attack and gets reflected, but it doesn't work like that. Yeah, we used the same tiles as last time. We're counting on you again today, little apple. これが戦場というものね。勝てを構えるぞ。More like a drone vacation. I have pinecom. Not saying I'm willing to do the emergency. Have a disgustingly low deployment limit though. To spec that will screw me over later. Hi. 
I wonder if Moose can do a bit better. Probably not, considering she almost died from the drones passing through. Although the debuff itself was pretty good value. Bubble can tank it just fine, in any case. Save it for later. We'll get another shot. Wait for this one. The between floor buffs stack additively as far as I know. So it adds up to about 90% attack. Defense and whatnot. Having a ton of ingots feels really comfy. Our enemies have reduced movement speed. Useless for the hard stages. 30% tarts. Uh, this isn't bad, but we're relying more on Pinecone. I could get this and gamble into getting a chalice. But I think this is going to be more reliable. We have Moose Click. Hopefully to Pudding, Durnar. Durnar's not gonna do shit. This sounds good, but the only fight I'm fighting is the boss. We'll take the arts damage. No, no, Quartz is not good. Do not build Quartz if you want a good operator. This is irrelevant. Okay, perfect. We can summon a shop here, dispel a fight here. Let's go. Useless. Next. This isn't actually that bad. Do we have anything else that buff kills? Because I don't need two of them. Yeah, I do. Uh, we had the attack speed buff, right? And the means to apply it. Yeah, so... We're better off with the extra health to avoid one-shots. Four ingots. And now we get to wood a shop. To the bones. The best 4-star guard is Jaya. No question about that. I mean, I might take it for the 3% attack. You never know. E to a defender. Amazing. E to a defender. Amazing. A guard. Minus corpse value. Remove the DP debuff. Not bad. Might as well. Not like there's anything... Uh, else good in this fucking shop. Useless. What else do we have? E to pinecone. Finally, some good fucking food. Less cost on pinecone. Six attack speed. Worth it. Dear God for the dog shit shop. E to pudding. Worth it. Guardian. Worth it. Useless, useless, useless. Take all my money. Yes, yes, I will absolutely fight this note. Honestly, I can probably win it, but how about we don't do that instead? Uh, we don't have three life, so... Okay, time to apply buffs to the boss. Oh, combat nodes. Get attack speed. I have a need to Pudenku. Oh, I don't have Pudenku at all. Never mind, you don't need her for the fight. Don't sweat it.
Not sure if she deals any damage to the boss, but... Second boss is probably easier to do, but we'll do the second later. Let's go for first now. This is so us, by the way. I've lost so many lives from this thing, it's unreal. Okay. Do we get a second medic? And if so, what do we give up? The answer is Humus. And there isn't a question. Moose sticks to the boss like glue. The shield guard will tank for pudding to make a way to the boss. We then drop Moose on it. And the boss is stuck there. I don't have any lives to work with, so I'm gonna be quiet for a bit. Good scenery here, Doctor. No deployment limits. Us. Basically doing zero damage to the boss. Good to know. What do I take off once I start to use my deploy swords? This guy isn't in much danger of dying. Well, that's something. He also can't solo that lane. I'm gonna need to give him some cover, I think. He missed a caster now. I think he catches it, right? No, fuck. Ethan's feeling like the most used things of Undescent. So if we got any access, we need to apply block on that end. Another concern is that I probably won't kill the boss in time. Because I don't do that much damage. Nah, I'll be fine. Unless he drop does enough, I think. Is probably an unnecessary for debuffing. Click isn't doing shit to the boss anymore. Switch. Playing at 1x speed, because when the stupid thorns comes, I need to deploy a defender to not leak. I'll retreat most at that point. We'll deal with the increased damage. Asshole. What makes it hard is they just don't have the proper deploy items. I basically can't use half my squad. I retreat as he drops, she's faster. Doctor, 
I probably need to get it out for the last wave. Okay. Cutter isn't doing that much anyway. I sure hope I don't randomly die from the boss timing me out. That would be kind of irritating. That's that wave mostly done. Back to acid drop. That's why I wanted Ethan here. Fuck off with that leaking shit. Stay still. Asshole caster? Okay. Wait, let me just count. One, two, three. It's three enemies there, right? Okay, so we can just retreat Jai. Not Jai, Durnar. And I don't care what happens anymore. You need to kill one of them and I win. That's enough. He even killed two. Perfect, so I can now leak one of the stupid guards. And now I just need to not die to the boss, which is probably what's going to happen, but... Not much I can do about it at this point. Okay, I don't need moose anymore. Add more DPS back in. I am forgetting to spam cutter. There is nothing that can reach that drone. Add click back in. Switch to Moose. Doing zero damage. Maybe I should start bringing Meteor instead of Moose. I did, it's not like I needed a damage reduction for anything. Though this run was pretty good in terms of defensive items. So it's a bad example. Because it's an outlier. Not close at all. Uh, what a pain in the ass. I'm so gonna regret saying I'm gonna do ending 3 on difficulty 15. GG. So is this floor 3? Yeah, this is floor 3. Bosky, 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 bosky. Yay! One million stages for the win. Uh, we had very little time. I'm not sure what the timer is. I've never run actually run out of it before. And I don't really care how long the timer is. I just try to kill it as quickly as possible. And this as much as my lives allow, and it either works or it doesn't. What do you mean this is hard difficulty? It was on difficulty 15. Okay, <laughs> I guess we're doing second ending now. By the way, the Magi 1 mission was to just deploy 25 drones, so you could do it in just one encounter for some reason. Okay, round two. We've won one now, so let's see if we can get some better start. 
we saw how far Spearhead could take us without any other items carrying us. So, we can rely on one of these things to give us more E2s, but we can't guarantee that we're going to get a good E2. If I have the choice between taking Humus and the E2 Bee Hunter, I'm obviously gonna take an E1 Humus. I've never even played the Ending 4, so I have no idea if it's possible. When it gets to the end, we'll see. Assume it's possible, but the RNG is hell. That's usually how it works. This is kind of broken, but RNG, so I don't like it. This will kill me on the first floor. Uh, this is cool if you use 6 stars, you can remove the debuffs. But I still don't think it's worth overhope, because there's other ways to remove the debuffs. I guess we'll try the ingots now. Kind of wanna take this now. An item is worth more than 5 ingots. And I still have one hope left over. Let's go. I was punished for my hubris and given a trash item. Okay, so I demonstrated why the optimal squad I use. I'm now going to take random, since we've already won my goal for today, and just show you what happens when you <laughs> flares or hit. When you don't use the preset squad. It's not going to take very long because we're going to die on the first floor. Only source of damage. <laughs> uh, there's nothing that can kill Dunar, so we can afford to take Perfumer. Nah, nah, Orchid is better than Nerf Spirit at E1. Orchid has higher DPS than Nerf Spirit. Uh, that's why I skipped her if you're wondering. I'm not trolling. Two fights on the first floor. This is going to be a very successful run. I can feel it. Complete my mission to the best of my ability. Good for you, Orchid. Or Durner. The battle has begun. Be careful, everyone. Yeah, so this is just a throw around to show you why I always start with Pinecone Click Spot. I won't die on this stage, but you will see why I, o I always start with those three. Orchid, ready to move. Stand by. Might actually die because I used the skill here, because there's a big wave of slugs coming, right? Am I gonna die on the first wave of slugs? Oh, that would be so cool. Please don't charge my skill in time. Go ahead. Target locked. <laughs> and this is why I start with Pinecone and Click. Just so I demonstrate. Okay, uh, more serious right now. So the difference when I don't have Spearhead is that I can't kill the emergency prison with just Pinecone and Click. I need a good third operator to make that work. Yeah, I'm justifying my bias towards Pinecone. With factual evidence. <laughs> Beasts awaiting slaughter is trash. Okay, we can take Hand of Moss. We can even avo avoid the emergency if we have to. Maybe I should have placed Orchid far in the front there to snipe slugs. I would still die, but there would be less slugs. I guess one advantage to IS3 is that I can reliably play the random squad. In IS4 that's uh, kind of just resetting 80% of the time. Oh yeah, I need to put the pin. 
I want the next four star to be a bard. Where do I pin a comment from? Oh, I need to expand the chat because the option isn't showing when it's small. You say, Heal yourself, spot. Tiring, I'm editing stuff in chat here. You're on your own. The message was stuck at the bottom and I couldn't click it because of the heart emote thing. Okay, that's there because people keep asking me this every few minutes. I forgot to put it on this stream. I guess now I have to explain why I want a 4 bard. Fuck, I've cursed myself. Click is a drone caster. Drone casters gay are imba with attack buffs. I want click to be imba. That wasn't very complicated. With hard work, even an idiot can get the job done. Ethan! Anyone else notice that I pretty much gather all the dude <laughs> four star scene? IS4. We have Ethan, Jaya, Totter, Humus. Obviously, I don't use the trash ones like uh, all the other ones, but ignore that fact. Okay, now we can see where the emergency is. Yeah, obviously the index. Two fights is, an, is better than an emergency. Skipping the encounter. Uh, I think I'd be fine with the trap master as long as they do something interesting. But if it it doesn't have to be a bard specifically, what I actually want is some operator that can buff, cli buff clicks attack. I don't really care what archetype it is, as long as it can buff clicks attack. I'm a simple man. I want to see click do red numbers. Or at least a lot of damage, that's also acceptable. to Verdant bit. Okay, I might be fine with a 4 gig. I just... No, fuck that. Four f with a 4 ack. That's the worst name ever. 4 ack. 4 ack it is. I might actually be able to kill the duck. Go, click, go. I believe. Well, probably not. Eaten with the quitch binds as usual. Attack of the spot. We, if a bind wants, we want that bind to be in bind cone range, like that. The duck can walk through rocks, but the dog cannot stun them. If you get the dog on this stage, it cannot do anything. It just walks into the rocks and dies. Extra lives. Podenko. Roberta is also an option. Deep Cower is not. A difficulty 15 Deep Cower just isn't an option. Wait, shit, I won the fight. <laughs> I almost forgot. I think the way you can trade instant use relic is kind of stupid. Uh, I don't really like it, but. You know, I am tryharding. I'll take what I can get. Would that make Vigil meta? Just because you can't use vanguards or ranged operators? Certainly not for normal stages, because there's only a few stages that require a vanguard in the first place. You know how there's uh, one stage on chapter 9 that gives you 100% DP regeneration? Yeah, that's not one of the stages that requires a vanguard. So you can imagine how widely applicable Viju will be if the only thing he does is generate DP. <laughs> Insult to the community. <laughs> 
Maybe I should deploy operators. You know, just an idea. I had in the shower. That's why I didn't deploy operators, but then I remembered I need operators to look at how beautiful Pinecone is, and that's why I deployed them. Okay, I prefer taking Bubble for no reason. Well, there is a reason. A lot of CN4 players tend to use Quora, and if they use Quora, I'll use Bubble first. If I can, for just for that reason, but it really doesn't matter, so I'll just pick Quora to prove that point. I actually love this item. It's great. It doesn't seem much, but when you have every operator adding damage, it really starts stacking up. Especially because your medics do damage too. Really good item. It's one of those boring but strong. No, no. That's the reason I use May everywhere, not Bubble. I use Bubble for different reasons. This isn't terrible, but if I have to rely on the health of ranged operators to tank 3 extra hit, I'm probably fucked. So I'll save my money. Well, obviously you just shower with money and then you become the president. I think we have plenty of evidence with, of that. Can't eat too. Obviously not. This is actually really strong. Fuck the five lives. I'll keep the two ingots because it's gonna spawn a recruit note on the encounter. Don't I use Hari too? Better for you, Doctor. Uh boo 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 boo. Oh I guess I use Hari one. I don't know, I guess I just like how Bubu looks in the E1, in the E0 zero art better, with her back turned. I don't know why other people like it though. You'd have to ask them. Two fights or three fights? Very difficult question, I'm sure you can imagine. Lower collapse value. You're saying I'm... Cut with cap sanity, you're assuming that they actually farm on this account <laughs> in the first place. Like, I only play with four stars and I have all of them. What the fuck am I gonna farm for? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I'm clip uh, clicking the stage over and over. Let's just go in. I also play um, CN, and that the only reason I farm that account is that it's not my account. I'm just uh, borrowing it. If it was my account, I wouldn't bother farming it either. That chest is so ugly. That's where I wanted to deploy Quora. Asshole stage. Wait, they go that way? Oops. Whatever you still in the shield is tiring, pal. I thought they go like this. Don't know why. That makes no fucking sense. Eat and bind, go. Okay, probably need Pinecone to kill all of these guys. That's less than ideal. Believe in the device. Think. Hi. 
For some reason I thought I had a perfumer in this squad. Oh yeah, I didn't buy the medic recruit. Now I remember. Oops. It's fine. Eat to eat and solves all problems. Except that dog apparently. If they had a system where you can level 4 further, I just wouldn't level 4 anymore. I'll just leave them at 70. It is better for melting shields, but you can definitely see why I used Q2 there. Oh, was Cora is flexing like usual. Bulgarian brother. Same stage but easier. And this time we have a medic. I will protect everyone. Oh my god! Uh, we need to change the in that to English voice right now. No problem. Rudy. Please take good care of yourself while I'm gone. Dear God, please stop talking. <laughs> my ears cannot stand that one. Well, we haven't gotten anything particularly interesting red yet, so we can still get stomped. Pinecone can take a break. I agree that it's realistic. I would like to have less realism now. I once used Hibiscus Sour Outer, and then I was wondering what the fuck were they smoking when they made her skill too. Why does it only target two enemies and then do no damage? Money! Where is Humus? Yay for Humus. Okay, uh, we need to make some emergency repairs. Better for you, Doctor. Okay, fixed. Does every hit from Pudenko S2 count for this relic? No, they actually need to swing. To be fair, in the run where I tried Hibiscus Outer, I tried to use her to damage a shield guard, because that's what was needed. She did not perform well. I guess we can just have click shoot the... My brain is uh, too fried. Word thing that comes out and spawns shadow. That's Spinecon's foot. She doesn't 
doesn't work over just this time. We want to get the first hit here, that's why. Actually, this one would be even better. Because then she hits the finite range. Yay, go click. No more shadow. Actually, that's a good question. So, given that Frostleaf is Frostleaf, when she gets a model, what will the model de debuff? Will it increase the attack speed reduction from her talent? Or would it reduce her range? What do you guys think? This is much better, because it can select any type of node. By the way, uh, it's useful to remember, it's always worth going to a node like this, if you have one device. Because you just get the device back, there's literally no downside. Yeah, let's go with Pinecone. Oh, I haven't seen this item in a million years. You don't lose one choice of wish if you have one device. You you only lose one choice of wish if you have two or four devices. You need at least two devices to have choices here. I like how I didn't get the one on the third floor though. It gets cancelled out with the other buff I guess. Okay, so we can summon money and we can summon a shop. Can we make use of this? Kind of, yeah. If we hit this... We're going to get at least 16 in in ingots. Possibly more. Unless it hits the last two. Let's see what we get. Ingot, ingot, and where's the third one? Ingot. We can get all of those ingots and then we can summon a shop on the other floor. That would require not dying to the boss. Which is manageable, yeah. Okay, we're taking this path. Money! Oh, and we get an operator on the money puff. Money puff. Puff. Uh, Myrtle or Humus? Humus, so I can have three hope for something else. Lost and found note. Is there anything I want to trade away? Uh, kind of want to get rid of this. See if I can row into a sink. This is probably the better choice, but I'm having a strong run. And we can always get this later. Okay, shield guard is also fine. Oh yes, this is absolutely a reasonable place to go. Moving on. I don't need three lives, obviously. E2. Cora can wait. She is functional what you want. Damage first. Hmm. Am I going to die to this stage? Because I can just go down from here too. Yeah, if you have the option between doing Shady Frozen Sea and not doing Shady Frozen Sea, then the choice is rather simple, simple isn't it? I guess I kind of want to get Cutter now, not that tile. No reason to use, use Defender here. We can have Pinecon on this tile. If we even need her. Click next, so the skill can charge.
Like this? Yeah, that's fine. Panko next, healing first. Because I'll avoid relying on it and dodges if I can help it. Can you and just time pike on this one to prevent the leak here? Or Ethan can just bind everything. Sure, that's fine too. If you want to. There's a relic that where any manual skill activation makes enemies in range fly. As you can imagine, this is a pretty useful relic to have on Pinecone. I just realized when I was doing Gending One, I didn't take the rune that someone's ending to. Oh, the opposite. So, when I was doing Kending 1, I did take the rune that someone's ending to. Now I'm doing Kending 2, but I didn't take the rune that someone's ending to. It's fine to not take it, because I'll get it later anyway. I just think the way my brain works is funny. I'll show you the relic in a second. It's this thing. Arranged operators lift up when they use their skill for two seconds. It has to be a manually activated skill. Send Pudding to get us even more money. We won't need her in the fight anyway. Kind of suspect the fight will kick my ass, but I also have enough health where I can afford to leak half the enemies on the stage. Because I don't really have anything to deal with the casters, or a, med or a reasonable medic. We do have this thing though, so at least the boss will be manageable. Don't die, please. Or do. That's also an option. I need to retreat Pudenko. Fail to retreat. Kind of about to leak a bunch of enemies. I can take care of the spiders. But it would cost Pinecone, so there's no point. That's going about as well as I expected. Not having real medics kind of sucks. Yes, I should have used the shield guard after all. Okay, uh, there's no point in even wasting skills on the boss. I'll just let him through. So the st these guys can just kill everything I have in a couple of hits. I can't really tank them with tank them at all. So hopefully we can make use of the tile and just clear as many things as we can to reduce the life loss. I didn't die, was expected. No, I should have just used the shield guard. I just don't have a good feel for how hard the stage is exactly, so I was kind of on the fence about it. Obviously I was walking damage. Well, these both suck us. 
Do we even have any infected creatures here? We live to die another day, huh? Fair enough. Any one Quora wouldn't tank them well. They have about a thousand attack, almost. If she had a medic, she can tank them, obviously, but we did not. Or maybe I did. Either way. Ending 2 is whatever. If I get to the fight, I'll win it. This isn't actually good, but it's funny and humus. This is actually terrible on Humus because the damage up doesn't justify the defense down and his defense is his big sell selling point. I'll get it anyway because fuck it, but <laughs> I I literally don't think this is a good item on Humus. Pretty good on Cutter though. Obviously we're taking the Sing Rune. Dodge is fine. We are horribly walking in squats, squats, squats. That needs fixing. I have one vision, that's enough. S Apparently I have some prop that I don't remember. Oh yeah, the slow device. This is an ultra broken relic, by the way. I won't be able to make use of it in this run much because I'm going to die, but this is super broken. That's pretty good. That's great. Okay, we're getting over good stuff going. I would enjoy a real medic at somewhere around this point. Pudenko is C2, right? Yeah. A real medic and the bosky passage. Uh, I like ending 3. I will definitely hate it by the time I actually do it because it's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, I just need everything I can get at this point. Uh, I guess this. Is better than this. It's not, and I'm high. Fuck it. I'm gonna get the other one too. I don't care. It's worth it. I'll farm the shop later. Okay, so now where do I summon the bosky passages? It makes more sense to clear this fight first. Because I don't want this to turn into a bosky passage, obviously. Now let's think for a bit about how to not die. We have Pinecone and she can mostly deal with the drones. Our opening sucks on DPYs. I should really find a vanguard somewhere. We can use Cutter but charging her is a bit uncomfortable. Okay. Give up on Ethan. He's not doing anything here. We'll have Quora tank them. Humus Cutter DPS on the sides. Cutter will just DPS to charge the skill. Not big and Pudenku either. We bring a second medic. Jaya seems questionable. Uh, nah. Keep on pudding. I'll give up on this guy though. Pinecone alone should be enough. Ready whenever. Yeah, it's because I'm really fucked for squat swats. I haven't cleared ending for it though. I haven't even seen it. We're gonna lose life from the stupid drones, right? Use the device. Oh, I can't levitate flying enemies. That is such bullshit. Yeah, no surprise. I think I can do about that. Oh, 
Oh, the drones are spawning behind me. It's kind of nasty. Was hoping they'd come from the other side. Because sometimes they do that too. The annoying fucks. High res, so she tanks the drones decently well. Well, Hora's not dying at least. Acceptable job for Manso. Click dying is okay. Pinecone's gonna die fast, so drop skills right now. I think I'll drop too many drones and die. That's my sense of this anyway. Because they'll kill Cutter, I think. Need, at le need to kill at least two, right? Yeah. GG. Ah, uh, the deployments were wrong. For some reason I thought they were going to come from the other side. I also don't didn't need to rely on Cutter there. Pinecone was enough. I just needed Perfumer to cover Pinecone. And Anso so heal Quora. I guess I overestimated how much healing you actually need on Quora. I, I thought I'd need both, but um, Perfumer alone was enough. Or uh, rather Anso alone would have been enough. And then I could have had Perfumer cover Pinecone better. I'm getting a better feel for how hard the stages are, though. Okay, so this was by far the most reasonable. I don't like these ones too much because they're gacha. You need to actually get the relevant operators. This one is great if you play with 5 stars. Um, okay, let's throw the gacha a bit. I could also just get the item. Kind of useless. Let's eat to literally every uh, caster other than the one I want to get. Thank you, game. Indigo is fine too, though. Poor fight start, pretty good. I'm still convinced um, the spearhead is the best option for four stars. But I am willing to try other stuff, see if I can find something that works more consistently. I can just deploy Pinecone here and that will pull two or three sheep. I'll assume three because I'm not sure. Probably pulls two, but. Makes more sense to assume the worst thing for me. Yeah, it's two sheep. I don't think the drone health stage is that bad, honestly. I think I could have. If I play it again with that squad, I win. I'm just bad. I'm bad at first trying things. Let's put it like that. Um, what do you think? He, what do you guys think is the worst stage on the fourth floor? By the way, I find kind of all of them easy. I guess the one from Monster Hunter is the worst. But there's no stage I actively avoid on the fourth floor. Like I avoid the fucking DH stage on floor three. Probably heal. Okay, 
is great migration the monster hunter stage i do agree with that but i don't think it's actually hard it's just the only one that's remotely dangerous I don't mind my Kuring Pankong. Indigo is perfect for this. Well, Totter would be better, but we can kill the dog with this. Because it's not going to be able to move when she hits. Perfect. Oh yeah, the the one with the three nuke drones. I completely forgot about it. Fuck the monster hunter stage. The three drones is definitely the worst. You need uh, such a flexible squad to deal with that. Or you know, half Texas, but I don't have Texas. Fucking obviously. <laughs> hmm. What do we want to take this time? I usually take Totter, but the problem with Totter is that he needs it too, and he's kind of just there until he gets it too, which feels kind of awkward. Meteor is a power pick for the late game, so we can shit on the boss. We, we're going for ending too, so that doesn't matter. Umbreo is totter, but worse. Hmm. May, Jessica, scale with items. But we obviously don't have items. I'm trying to dig it, by the way. I guess we'll try May for once. And I'll get Meteor later. Again... More fights is better value. So it's worth keeping the emergency to get more recruits. Kind of tempted to try and roll the gacha though. Even though I think this is better. I can save an index and I can use it in the next floor. So let's say because I can use that index in the next floor I get one more I fight there. Ask about the meaning of this mission, then. Um, so here's how you deal with Bors on the Monster Hunter stage. You deploy Ethan, and then your game, game crashes and kicks you out of the run. Anyway, if you deploy Ethan, uh, he kind of just binds the Bors, and then they're not your problem anymore. Uh, that's just blue stacks. It happens. I mean, I wouldn't say it unto everything, but it is true. Also, the run is lost. Thank you, Blue Stacks. Oh, no surprise there. If it crashes while it's holding, you're fucked. Let's try that again. It didn't get a fair showing. Oh, I also get other problems on LD. They all kind of run trashy for me. But only on the English version. I never have problems on the CN. I've never had the CN version of the game crash once. Only the N version crashes for me. Four fights. Yep, totally just starting now. Didn't already beat difficulty 15 or anything. I'm not sure which map on floor 5 is the worst. You can deal with any map on floor 5 individually, but they all would require some different specific squad. Like the squad I need to beat the FS map, the one with 3 sister, is completely different from the squad I would require to deal with the map with gargoyles, for example. Wait, that's the same map, I'm retarded. <laughs> I was talking about the map with the stupid fucking trees. Different maps on floor 5 require very different setups. And it's very unlikely that I'll have all the tools necessary to deal with all of the maps. If I need to prepare for one particular map, I can do it. But I never know what map I'm going to get. Which is why I always just keep every fight on floor 5. Free win. Very nice. Hi. 
Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh, I love the Eben Holtz map. It's awesome. I don't think it's really hard, but I really like the design. It's ten times better than any map in Ewi. Also, the word thing about the Ewi map on floor five. The emergency version is easier than the normal one. Because the violins go in a less annoying place. Actually, that's my favorite map in IS4. The AoE map. I really enjoy it. We had spot, right? Um, You kind of just ignore everything deploy in the middle queue of the golems and win. I really don't think it's uh, too complicated. Just try not to deal with the casters and other ones until you can deal with the golems. And try not to interrupt the laser. Sacrifice DPS if you have to so you don't cut out the laser. And because then you're fucking your DPS and the golems. Then once you have some block down so you don't lick the golems. You then go and kill the thing in the back. It varies on normal and emergency. On emergency you have casters in the back. On normal you have violins. Or the other way around. One or the other. Uh, if I get it on floor 5 I'll play it. I'm pretty confident I can do that one. Even with the massive stat buff. We will probably die before I get to floor 5, so you cannot hold me to that. My plan is perfect. Also, the other rune is better. Because it lets you select any kind of note. Not just an encounter. Oops. I was bragging too much. About how I'm going to die on the f before the 5th floor. What was the emergency of the March of the Dead? I know I've played it, and I don't remember it at all, but my brain has marked it under never play this shit again. So, does anyone know what the emergency version of March of the Dead was? Oh, was, was it golems instead of gargoyles? Oh yeah, that was complete bullshit. I remember now. <laughs> I just mentioned it, my brain brought it up. It's the bullshit golems. <laughs> yeah, that's bullshit. I fuck that map, never played it. And it was the red fucking golems, right? <laughs> yeah, right, yeah, I remember that. Never mind. Yeah, if you have enough damage to kill those golems with difficulty fi fucking 15, then nothing else in the game can challenge you. You nick the final boss in two seconds, on ending three. Because it's the, the red golems with 500,000 health or something. Or maybe 350, I haven't fought them in too long. Point is they have infinity health and then you multiply that by infinity stats from the emergency mode and infinity stats from the 5th floor ascension buffs. And you get something that's going to never fucking die. Really, they only have 180,000 health. I thought they had more. Regardless, on IS4 they definitely have infinity health. Yeah, never do March of the Dead emergency. Never ever. With hard work, even an idiot can get the job done. The best way to do March of the Dead is probably to just leak the golems and then deal with everything else. Cause that way you only lose two lives. Okay, fuck it, I'll just eat two pinecone. It's not like I want a second sniper that much anyway. Is that the health they have on the session 15? Or the health they have in general? We're talking about the red golems to be clear. Also the real reason I use spearhead is because E2 Pinecone has a thousand attack without items. Rafik here with the mathematician answers. Just because you're correct doesn't mean you're right.
And don't forget, there's two of them. Completely queueable and fair enemies. With hard work, even an idiot can get the job done. Odenko, only good use for a supporter ticket. Where are you? The bears also ha basically have no defense, so they're much easier to kill. Well, the effective health will depend on what kind of damage you're using, because it will obviously the physical damage will vary depending on whether you're hitting them for a thousand or four thousand. There is no fo no four star that can do true damage, no. All right then. Also, the bear you fight after everything else. The golems you fight while fighting everything else. They're not remotely comparable. Probably gonna pull five sheep at once. No, only four. Very nice. Very nice. At least you haven't built wind chimes, so the damage is just limited to one crusher for now. Hi, Boris. I'll try and convince you to do more, but no, don't build quartz. I'm very sorry to hear that. I must apologize. Because she's hot, that's why I built wind chimes. <laughs> Have an entire video dedicated to it. <laughs> what you mean, like I uninstalled the game? Um, because of how much quartz damages my account. Go, clickstones, go! Oops. Hooray for clickstones! With hard work, even an idiot can get the job done. Actually, a useful item. Though it doesn't always look like much. Okay, we said we were gonna give May a chance, so let's do that. But the Hoarder is actually good, so I don't have any reason to build him, right? He's still kind of hot though, but Humus is hotter, so I don't see what I, what he has going for him. No, we're gonna take this, obviously. This is very funny, but not worth the money. I have no hopes of resetting the shop, probably isn't worth. And we didn't have a specialist, right? Yeah, we'll take this. Nothing too good. Although the melee item can be pretty good. We can take all three fights and be back to zero devices for the next floor. Totter is basically my go-to for, and the only for sniper I really want on higher floors, but he is horrible at opening a um, higher difficulty. So I end up using other snipers that don't make me die in most of the runs, by which I mean Pankon, obviously. All outers are the worst outers, by the very fact that they're outers. That's inherent to their very existence. Uh, can deploy Pinecone later. 
I'm afraid of leaking some random trash, so drop spot. First. Yeah, yeah, fine. Executor, the normal executor isn't even that bad. Pycon only outperforms, uh, outperforms him because this kind of skill is really powerful. You can always tailor it to suit whatever problem you have exactly. So she's very strong in low operator runs because the skill is so adaptable. He just wags that flexibility. But overall, if you just DPS check them, Executor does do more damage than Pinecone. It's just that the manner in which Pinecone applies her damage is better. Because you can avoid overkill. Is Blaze Sniper supposed to be Horn or am I missing something? Because I guess that's not wrong, but... Uh, corn guy, you don't need one medic and one sniper. You just need one medic. As long as it's a wandering medic, that's all you need. They can reveal all of the invisible guys on their own. Arts damage. Oh, we're talking about Chen. Yeah, she kind of looked like Blaze. They changed her art. I think that was more people memeing than anything, though. But she definitely didn't look like the normal Chen. Quora can self-heal. Where did the attack speed come from? The fuck? Oh yeah, we have the item that gives attack speed when melee operators take damage. I completely forgot about it. Yeah, yeah, fine. Oh wait, this is the emergency version. I might have trolled myself in that case. Yeah, for some reason, I forgot this was the emergency. I played this very bad and I'm going to die. Oops. Not paying attention is dangerous. Go next. I was reading chat too much. Uh, that was absolutely winnable. I uh, just wasn't paying attention. Too much out to play with. Quora half has self-healing on her S2, yeah. She regains max percent health. Okay, I've rushed enough. Let's try another tryhard run. The other squads aren't too bad in making the opening easier if I take Caster or Sniper, so I can start with an E2. Caster makes more sense than Sniper because I want Pinecon, but I don't care too much about the Caster. 4 out of 5 Casters are acceptable. Four fights again. 
we're getting the good openings on the first floor so consistently. I can't believe it. I'll try not to waste this one. I want the 4 bard to buff click and for no other reason. I want click to have more attack so drone does more damage. I want to see red numbers from click, that's the entire reason. There is technically a reason to use Pinecone S2, but it's uh, really complicated to explain. Okay, let's start from the beginning. So, here's the stupid part. Pinecone S1 has higher DPS than Pinecone S2. Now, given that Pinecone S1 charges faster, is more flexible, uh, and doesn't decrease her range, you might think that that's stupid. Uh, it also doesn't take 3 charges before it starts doing its full damage. That's bad design. And yeah, it is. Pinecone S2 is horrible. The only use you have for Pinecone S2 is when enemies behave in this fashion. They come into Pinecone range, they get hit by Pinecone S2, and then they leave. Um, and then new enemies come in before just as her S2 is charging. In which case you're wasting stacks of S1 at that point. But her S2 is getting its damage consistently. The only other option for Pinecone S2 is if you have enemies at about let's say 1400 defense. Um, S2 will do slightly more damage than S1 at that point. Again, only if they consistently stay in range. And you don't want Pike on S1 to do, deal with any other type of enemy. This is queuable. Uh, the question is just how to pull it. Okay, so click is obviously the only option. We just pull it right now and then stack double healing. I guess. Just pull the chest, then retreat. I like how it AFK for a bit. Useful to me. Doesn't matter to me. Yeah, spot can all it on its own. Yay, ten ingots. I think the Mimic Draining 2 health is really throw, because it can spawn in any random place and screw you over. It's kind of throw like how sometimes the boats on DH stages spawn in range of things that can just kill them and you can't do anything about it. Koron, why do you think I need to explain why my pinecone is this too? My pinecone is M6 because she's a 4 star. I have Verdant M6. I literally don't give a shit if it's good or not. If it's a 4 star, it's M6. Makes zero difference to me. If the skill actually has any use. I'm explaining what it does, not, with, not why I am treated. Very rarely, May S1 can be better than S2. Obviously, if you need slow during the downtime of May S2. But the damage from May S2 is much better, and the slow as well. And it cycles very quickly at about 20 seconds SP. So it almost never comes up for May S1 to have any use. It does happen though. Because sometimes you just need a faster cycle than 20 seconds. A broken soul or a 4 only player. Not sure what you think the difference is, dude. Verdant test 2 would be awesome if it activated every time he retreated. I said as much in the video about him. If he just got his kill back up, would have been cool. It's like a weaker Utagi that gets to be reused over and over without redeploying. Okay, 
Yes, if a terrible operator was less terrible, they would be less terrible. I agree with that statement. I don't disagree that Pinecone is too cute to not M6, but I also have Verdant M6, so... If it's a 4-star, I'll M6 it. I don't actually care what the skill does. I have Ambryo M6 and her skill 1 is Ambryo skill 1. Como it is. Hooray for... This is actually really powerful. Uh, but this gets red buffs. What runes do we have? Just emergency. Uh, Snow Priest. Why Matuimaru are voting? Got it. I mean, my channel banner is Spinecone, so I think it's pretty easy to guess who my favorite operator is. Obviously, it's Weedy. How couldn't you tell? Yeah, uh, if you can turn the, all the select non-combat nodes into something useful, it's great. No, 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 I just think wind, wind chimes is hot. Completely different. No hope. Uh, I'll take this. I don't like the life again one. I just theme quartz more. Because she's a meme. I'll complete my mission to the best An incantation on four star medic wouldn't be bad. But they also don't exactly have some specific use for it that I can think of. So it just depends on what they actually do. To put it simply, I'm not waiting for any kind of operator. I'm fine with the four stars I have. I just, if anything better comes along, I'll use it, of course. But I'm not expecting or waiting for any quest. I don't feel like I'm missing anything. Actually, the stun bombs are good. Oops. Maybe I should get this too. Just for Humus. When he can benefit from the attack speed too. Nah, fuck it. If I had the shop max, they would. After this stream, uh, next time I play, I'm just gonna... Get some podcasts and re keep repeating the shop until 900. I don't wanna do that on stream, because I'll fall asleep while doing it. That would be embarrassing. Hmm. That might just kill me. We'll see. We have an E2 perfumer, so we can test my theory from earlier. I said that uh, if it was perfumer it was E2, maybe I hold there. But they also don't have eaten. So it's kind of fucky. I do have stun bombs though. Now we're fine. We're fine. All right then. Believe in the stun bombs. They will carry. Give perfumer attack speed. Seriously. I can hide Humus over there, right? It's fine to kill the spider. Yep. 
I probably need to stun that. If I want him to actually die. That's fine. Do I use the second stun bomb or do I save it for later? Okay, I'll greet for this one. No way I can kill that, so aim for the spider. Yeah, this stage is annoying. I wouldn't have taken it if I had a choice, but at least I got to test. I don't treat, treat click, there is no time. We will use them for bait, so they can waste some time. Three attacks, very nice. Mm, okay. Nah, I won't die here, there is no way, because spot is coming back in 17 seconds. The only question is if I can catch one of these casters or not. I think Humus dies too fast. Yeah, definitely. Hmm, maybe I did die. Nah, never mind. It's calculated correctly. Because Spot comes back and takes too long to die. Whatever you say. Attack speed buffs. The absence of Eton really hurt there. You can see that I struggled to replace him. Uh, if I had some way to deal with the spiders, I would have chosen a more backwards position. Then I'd probably just die to casters, nuking my backline though. We need to work yeah. next time. I need to I need more experience in this map. I'm not sure what the right place. In other situations. Uh, to kill a Wraith, she had nothing else to do. Because I was just trying to use the for forward tiles. If I try to place it backwards, I just explode to spiders. So that's basically not an option. Uh, I think I have, have a better setup in mind. But I'll try it next time I get that stage. You know what? If we're almost going to die, let's try and greed a bit and see what we can get out of it. Actually, this will probably kill me. By which I mean certainly kill me. wonder if there's a way to pull out the shadow. If I can deal with the first one, I'm fine. No, oh, never mind, I, stuck. I have stun bombs. We're alive then. I completely planned this in advance. Oh, don't do that. Where, where, where am I going to deploy the stun mine then? <laughs> oh, really, Holmes? You couldn't finish it? Okay, so we're putting the mine behind. Like this. <laughs> okay, I am left. Guy runs too fast. Did you deploy the mine earlier? That was kind of swappy. I'm probably just feeling tired at this point, not paying enough attention. But I'll do one more run. And then I'll get off. Okay, I'm gonna try something other than a pinecone start. But I'll use a real start, not a random die instantly to any random bullshit. Also, I lied. This is also a pinecone start. But this is the Ethan pinecone start. I also kind of like this one, but it just barely doesn't work at difficulty 15, so I'll try to show it off. Uh, only two fights. Leave it to me.
why do you need silver rush for one period? One piri relays anyway. You just spam Texas and then Yatu and repeat until the stage is over. That works on 98% of stages in the game. Which is what every one piri relays at the moment. Except some stages that can't be too opened by Yatu and Texas. Stuff like H204 and such. Also, I should have taken even S2 for this stage. Let's pretend we probably won't die from it. Yay for Spearhead. Uh, no way in hell. Everyone, follow me. Trust. I hate when the dog does this. <laughs> There's zero chance of you killing it when he's just walking around. I don't think I can kill it even if it unbinds. Okay, maybe I could have. So it kind we kind of end up with the same team here. Because there is basically only one viable one. Yay, this fight is a free win at least. I wish I could go down and do the other one as well. Team, check your gear before departing. No, the Corbera. Protect the box or the rock, anyway. The first one always jumps in the hole. A bunch of lives and E to Ethan. Pretty good start. Weaknesses is we have no healing. Removing debuff is better. We have too many of these. I'll even take the lives. Four of these is too many. Do I raise it for three dollars? God, this note sucks. Extra defense, attack for pinecone. No card. I'll probably have to take this. Kind of wanna greet, but okay. So this is a pretty awful start, simply because they don't have a squad. This is true for higher rarity too, to an extent. You really don't want to go through the field where you have um, only two fights. Even though it's more true for four stars, fundamentally fights are more valuable than encounters. So you want more fights, especially early while they're easy. I didn't change it into S2, but it won't matter. Maybe it will actually. Forgot. I keep forgetting I have no melee. 
Yeah, I see the boss key. I'm doing the scout first. Put Fungus far back. We don't want her to actually block any of these assholes. That's why. Keep scanning. Pineco next. Because we're gonna need every bit of block we have available for the normal assholes. The hell? She blocked something. That's bullshit. This was probably the actual hostage. Not taking it on is a big mistake here. But we should be fine. Not taking it on is too, I mean. Obviously, it is there. I kind of like the reduced deployment limit to 3. That one is just fun. To play around with, even though it makes it really, really likely to die. Yeah, I feel like if you know what they do, a lot of the bosky debuffs are buffs in these guys. Kind of salty, I did one. I think it's minus 4 deployment limit, because I've had 2 deployment limit on my last stream. I keep getting supporters every, every run, it's making me sad. Uh, who do we eat to? Pinecone fucking obviously, I have a book that buffs Pinecone's attack. That's not even a choice. Three items. Okay, now we're cooking. This is good, but I don't want to spend money. This is probably worth it over Jaya. This is broken, but money. Squad limit it is. I don't think I have a squad that can loot the shop. Is there anything worth trying for the shop loot? Nah. I'll just I'll just lose too many lives, I think. Actually, it's fine. Because uh, Fang will just die to trash when they heal up between waves. I might greed if I see something that's worth it. Hmm. Tempting. But we won't level up so the recruits are worthless. I'll loot a different shop later. Since we have a shop node in ourselves. Okay, so here we just deploy Pank on once and then we win. My only concern is that Funk can't want you on a shadow. So we start with Ethan for that one. Actually, the isn't the emergency easier than the normal one here? Because this one is still the bullshit stage. But I can just deploy here and you call the spiders. Okay, Pank on time. Uh, the recruits were worthless because, honestly, I, I would just die to the fight anyway. Let's be real. <laughs> that was the real reason I didn't take it. Well, Pinecone can't catch the spider. Nope, but that's fine. Leave it to us. 
<laughs> yeah, I definitely need to sleep. Or at least stop playing for today. Yeah, I've run out of stamina. Uh, this is my... I guess this is about my limit. <laughs> nah, I'm just tired. So I'm, so I'm not paying enough attention. Okay. Guess... Uh, that's as far as my stamina takes me for now. I'll stream more, more tomorrow. But we ran out of IRL sanity for today. Who ended here? <laughs> Alright. Good night, guys.